We talked a lot about having wanting to have a good start to the game, and uh, that didn't go as planned. I thought we came out a little flatter than we needed to, um, and we gave them life. A team that had played late last night, and were, you know, should have been tired, and they looked like they had a little more energy than we did. We got a couple of bad penalties there. Which, we had a couple uh, penalties there that allowed them, you know, to gain a little bit of foothold into the game and and uh, put us on our heels a bit. But to the team's credit, we uh, we had a little talk there in the first intermission, and we just talked we just talked about, you know, what was the main criteria of, of the of why we selected all these players and, and the, the, the uniting thing was character and uh, I said that's what we need here to get us back into this game and back into this tournament and uh, we need to we need to represent the country the way it needs to be represented with pride with character with fighting spirit and you know and we made a few changes to the lineup and we kind of we, we led with the, the key character guys, and I thought they did a tremendous job of, of, of basically providing the inspiration and the spark we needed to, to be, uh, you know, to fight our way back into the game and to lead us. Uh, everyone is interested in what happened in the locker room in the first intermission. Well, again, I don't, we didn't, uh, there was no, I, I went in and said, listen, I'm not gonna yell and scream at you. I'm not doing that. You guys don't want that, and I don't. I don't want to be that way. I said, but let's speak logically. I said, uh, you guys are representing your country, and this is not the type of effort that we need to to represent it the right way. And I said, the reason you're all here, like I just said, was because because you're all a great hockey players, and b you're character people. Those are the things that have to lead us now. There's no more excuses. There's no, you know, nobody can do anything for you guys. We're prepared. You guys got to go do that, and you got to lead with this. And uh, like I said, you know, to Stasi and Komarov, two huge efforts by them provided a huge spark. Yegor uh, delivering, and you know, we knew it was only a matter of time. But you know, those guys led the way, and uh, that's what we needed, and we got it. And that was a huge, huge moment for for this team. So, you know, we still have a lot of work to do. We still got one more uh, game, but we gave ourselves a chance and, uh, you know, we're really happy about having that uh, opportunity to fight another day. Tomorrow we'll have a day off. Uh, what are we going to do not to lose this energy, this pain that we found in the second period? Yeah, uh, good question. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to temperature check how everybody's feeling tomorrow and energy wise and uh, you know we have ice booked and you know we may approach it where some guys who if we think they need a little bit of a rest will get it. If some guys we feel need a little bit of uh, you know extra work to stay sharp then we'll give them that. So it's going to kind of be a hybrid approach where it's not one size doesn't fit all I think. So I think that's how we're going to 